Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some very cool widgets that I think you might like, and I'm gonna show you how to use them and how to add them to your home screen. So here I have two screens that I'm just gonna roughly show you what I did. As you can see over here, here I have some Apple widgets, another app that I'm going to be talking about in a minute, and I have an Apple app over here and also top widget app widgets. So a very cool widget that I think is very useful to have is the battery widget. So here you can see your phone's battery percentage and your AirPods battery percentage, whatever devices you have connected to your phone. And that is very useful because you cannot always see what is the percentage of your AirPods if you're using it, but you can see it on the widget very clearly. So the next one is a weather app. This is also very useful. So you can just quickly see what is the weather today. And this is a very interesting app. It is a Pinterest app, so you can edit the widget and choose an interest to get started. Then I have this calendar app that you can see the date, the events. I don't have any events today, but then you can also see the calendar for the month. So that is the Apple widgets that I have. So let's look at the Pinterest widget. So let's just wait till the apps jiggle, tap on it, and then you say choose interest. So then you can choose food, beauty, quotes, women's fashion, men's fashion, or you can search and you can say home decor. So let's choose home decor and you can update it hourly or daily. So I'm going to say daily. Okay. So there it is, just a nice picture for my home screen. I really like that. So let's look at the widgets and what they have in store for us. So if you tap on anywhere on your home screen, let the apps jiggle and you press on this plus sign on the top. And here you can see some of Apple's widgets and you can just scroll down. And here you can see, here is all the other apps that you can choose from and make widgets from. So a really nice widget to use is, is the smart stack. So you have multiple widgets in one widget. So if you place that one, you just hold it and place it and you can scroll through and you have multiple widgets. I think that is really cool. So if you like your phone screen to be minimalistic, I really recommend this widget. So let's look at another one, the clock. So here you can choose small, medium or large so if you have large you have more options that you can see medium and small is just the one clock so next one we can look at is here is the pinterest one so here is just where you can choose a board to get started with and here is a large one then there is a small one which i have which is for your interests and here is a large one as well so another one that I like is the notes. So you have your notes over there so you can just see your notes on your home screen and not have to go into the app. So if you have a to-do list, you can just see it from there. And down here is batteries, Bible, calendar, clock, contacts, find my, a bunch of stuff that you can just choose from. So let's see how the notes look. It is a small one, medium, you can see multiple notes that you have and large you can see more information underneath the notes so this is pretty straightforward with apple's notes and now i want to share with you guys an app that i really find helpful and i highly recommend downloading this app so it is top widgets so as you can see there is the app so if you go into it the name is top widgets so this is for free but there are stuff that you have to pay for so as you can see here is a little crown and that you do have to pay to get that one for like the pro version so over here you can see small widgets so these are all the small widgets that are available as you can see they look really nice this is the one i have right now on my home screen there it is there you can see this is really beautiful colors so if you for instance want this one here you can select light or dark mode here you can select the color you want the widget to be or you can select the photo or transparent and over here you can choose a border 
and then you just save the widget. So if you save it, it goes to my widgets. So here you can see there is all my widgets, my small widgets, my medium widgets and my large widgets. So if we go to medium, here you can see all the medium options. So this is the one I have at the moment, the quick launcher. So as you can see, here it is. And I'm going to show you how to set this widget on your home screen. So let's go into the app. So here you select which app you want to be in your widget. So current app. So I have one that has all the social media apps. So for this one, let's make it phone. Let's say files. And the next one, let's say Calcu. And for the next one, let's say camera. So now you have your widgets display. So go out and take a screenshot of your home screen. Okay, so now you took a screenshot. It is to make your widget transparent background. So then on the bottom you say transparent, say top, and then say save. So now it is saved to my widgets. So now you just press and hold, click the plus button, then you see top widget, so it's a medium widget, so I add that widget and then I tap on it and choose current widget. So then I choose one and then there you can see it might be interested in. So let's choose that one. Choose transparent, so that's on the top. We're gonna edit that now and I'm gonna leave everything like that. So there you can see there is your widget. So it is like a shortcut, so it is going to have that delay, unfortunately. So let's look at one last widget. So let's choose a large widget. So here you can have pictures and an X panel that has so much information. So there you can choose how it should look like. So let's go with the first one, then you can change it light or dark mode, then you can go to X panel detail, so here you can see all the detail that is in your X panel. You can choose the background, so there you can choose the background to select photos, transparent, or you can choose to have a solid background. So I'm just going to make it white to match my background and you can select a border if you want one. And let's say save. So the plus button. Then you can search top widgets and select a large one. Then I tap on it. Choose current widget. Choose transparent. And there my widget is added. So this is a very cool widget to have for people that is into tech. So there you can see my storage. You can see what iOS your phone is on, the type of phone you have, the time, your Bluetooth is on or off, your brightness, if your cell here is on or off, your Wi-Fi, what chip you have in your phone and your battery percentage. And there is the date. There's also another app that you can use. I'm just going to show you quickly. Widget Smith. So here you can choose also if you want to add a widget, add medium widget or add large widget. So if you say add large widget, here you can choose a photo, the time, how you want your time to be displayed, the date, current hourly, hourly and daily. So you can have a bunch of options to choose from. You can choose your aesthetic theme or select a photo or you can just select that one and say save so if you press on the screen press the plus button and you type widget smith add a large widget large widget number one 
and then you have that widget displayed over there as well so that is also a free app and an easy to use app so if you want to use that one instead i have widget smith on my home screen over there which i have just a random image that fits my theme of my phone so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video it is really fun to add widgets to your phone it just makes it so much more fun and easier so that you don't have to go into the apps to actually see what's going on thank you so much for watching this video give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it and if you like this type of content so that we know which kind of content you like and feel free to leave a comment down below which widget you like the most please subscribe to our channel that will really help us so much and remember to click the bell notification button to get any notifications when you upload a video hope you guys have a lack of day bye Thank you.